Welcome back. We're, we're staying paused right now. That's crazy, man. Holy shit. Like, how? The void indeed. Is that what you said? The void earlier? What time is it? 10.25. Started at 9.30. We're going to 11.30 tonight. It's pretty crazy. That's not the plan. Yeah, I can't believe we just got in the void. What the fuck was that? That was crazy. That came out of nowhere. Nah, dude, it kicks me off too. Damn, I don't want to kick you out of anything. Dude, this fight's going to be so easy. Because these don't do damage. I'm literally just protecting myself. It's the cannons that do damage against this thing. later. One more hit. Fuck yeah. That's the winner. That worm actually looks super cool. I talked about this the first two times we fought him. That is a super cool worm. I don't just mean it looks. I mean like the way they animated it and, it and everything and super cool. Holy All crap. Right. That was a piece of cake. <laughs> no. I guess she might have been working with Evil Risky or um, Evil Shante. Yeah, Shante sent Holly to stop them. Hey, way to go, Caterpenus. Oh, no. Come on. All yeah. right. Oh, their poses. been a long time since we've seen that. Holy fuck. <sighs> Whoa, shit. Uh -huh. 
Ronnie looks strange. What? own ass right now what is happening like there's literally nothing I can do to fix it this is gonna be very upsetting Actually, a really big level too. again nice we got two squids already so we're going to clear there and that last one's easy to get I totally forgot that the levels are separated they aren't actually together So when we need to collect three squids, it's literally for this section, the racing section. Oh fuck, never mind, never mind. I'm falling like a fool, like a fool would do. Switch to like Roddy right away. Ah, who goes there? Or Halt, who goes there? Duh. I gotta read it right, man. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> do I have that? Do I have that much time though? Uh, okay. Really quickly, really quickly.
Oh, look at that. Hell yeah. Yeah, that seems like the best strategy for it. Input uh, what you said there, Vipers. Inputting other people's things at chess.com. I'm way too stupid for chess. I like playing chess to an extent, but my brain just can't keep up, man. It sucks. Like, I, 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 can't, I can't keep up with anyone's moves. I, I just am so bad at it. And you know what? The, the thing that sucks most is I just don't, I don't care about getting better, either. You know, I don't think that's necessarily a problem or anything, but it's just like, ugh. Like, if I had something where I can actually feel like I'm striving for something that I want, then that might make this different. I spent half my time crying when I played chess. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? Boom. Perfect. There you go. What the fuck? How do I get up there? thinking it sucks that I had to waste that health but that's obviously the easiest way to do this I can barely see that Ooh. hello Weird. of Roddy this whole area becomes so much easier it's honestly just insane I'm so desperate for magic, man. No idea. If we have magic, that's one more base covered for this shit. We got this. Boxes. I, you know, what? I've learned about that one from that Switch game. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I 
don't know if I played that game as a kid, though. I easily could have. For me, it was checkers. I played that with my grandparents. My grandpa was very handy and kept building a bunch of crazy shit. Not, not crazy shit, but you know, a bunch of like cool stuff. Oh, you found a slack off you can't have. That's so good. Congratulations. Okay, okay, okay. That does four damage? Whose idea was that? God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Actually, yesterday I, I, in Pokemon Go, I caught a shitload of slack off. I was not expecting just a sudden, like, boost in sl uh, slack off rates. I think it was, I don't remember what it's called. But, like, there was just a bunch of slack off do doing crazy shit. That's where I came in. Uh, fuck. Like, get the hell out of here, dude. God damn. That's crazy. I wonder if there's a record for that. Fuck. Dude, you're getting me so hyped to play Emerald again. I'll be honest, I'm like super worried about the Battle Frontier. I don't have much faith in myself at all. Because I've, I've never like just gone through it before. Oh yeah, if anyone's just tuning in, that's the surprise. I just did a big uh, Pokemon Emerald playthrough where I just played the game and we had some fun nicknaming dumb Pokemon dumb names and good Pokemon dumb names. It was great. Um, oh shit. Uh, but yeah, next up, because people were asking for it, uh, we're going to be doing the Battle Frontier. That'll be super cool. That's going to be on Saturday. That's one of the two surprises that I got planned. I might have a third. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying that because I like the number three more than two when talking about shit. Maybe I do have a third thing. Um, I doubt it, though. I don't think I'll have a third thing. Actually, no, I, I kind of will. Um, but it's going to be starting sooner. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm starting a Twitter soon. I, I have one started, but I don't have anything set up for it. I want to just, you know... Accounts made, and I got it all set up. I, I want to get it all linked to my uh, Discord and stuff first. And I, and I got I to gotta change my profile picture, too. It's currently nothing. Yeah, there. Boom. There's the first announcement. High Octane, right? Hope you're excited. Now, you, now I cannot post on there, just like I don't post on uh, Discord. What? When did I get that? Bah! You'll be fine. What do you mean I'll be fine? I don't know what you're talking about anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna have a Twitter set up finally. And I want to do that because uh, uh, I want to probably be able to like 
because I, I, I want to do. I want to be able to post something stupid and not be like an idiot for posting in the Discord. The, the thing is, I also don't have much of a reach just with the Discord either. And I want to actually like get a little serious about this stuff. Because, you know, I, I am very serious about streaming. I'm, ho I'm hoping I can do lots of cool shit. Play lots of games and uh, hang out with lots of people. Because it's been so much fucking fun. I, 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 want, I want to prove that I'm serious about this. For any, any of the doubters. Cause yeah, this this is super important to me. It's the Battle Frontier Pokemon. You were talking about the Battle Frontier. I now understand. I totally forgot that I was talking about the Battle Frontier for a second there. That is one of my favorite theme songs from the show, by the way. It's a battle we don't lose. I don't remember the rest right now. Nice. nice. Ready. Bye. Yeah. Oh, I want that actually. Fuck. And it's gone. Great. Fuck. Yeah, it'll be good to finally have uh, a, a Twitter set up. Yeah, that, uh, like, I, like I was saying before, I want, I want to really make sure that, like, people know, I, 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 want, to, I want to take this seriously. I want to actually, like, I want to devote myself to this. <laughs> Streaming is actually one of the last, like, one of the most recent things I've been passionate about, and I don't, I don't even remember the rest, last time I've ever been this passionate about something. I wasted so much time on the Grand Theft Auto logo creator thing, crew emblem thing. So much fucking time on there, dude. I don't even play GTA Online anymore. I spent so much time making crew emblems for myself. And remaking, and remaking, and remaking. What? That is not my fault. Kuchiana. I remember when I caught a Mighty Anna, I called it a Might Hyena, and it just screwed with my head the whole time. It's so dumb. Actually, you know what? Because you just posted that emote. I remember I had to pick that emote. Or emoji. Or I don't know. I don't know how that shit works. Either way, um, I don't have anything like official planned for um, when I for when I get affiliate when it comes to... I, I don't even know exactly how the whole affiliate thing works. What I get access to or whatever. Um, but I'm already... I'm already kind of set on what emotes I'll end up using. It'll just be my skulls. Because they're all linked to emotions anyways. I figured that'd just be the easiest thing to do. Fuck, dude. Get Roddy freaking magic, dude. Bolo can't keep collecting all the magic. That literally helps no one. Oh my 
god, Roddy is so freaking... Dude. You better not be fibbing right now. Fucking love One Piece. I was so stoked. The Art of Matthew, the amazing man that did the beautiful piece of art you see on the screen there. Uh, he drew Nami and... Uh, and Robin, and they look freaking spectacular. He's got Boa Hancock on the way as well. Um, in case you're that far in the uh, in the story. And holy shit, man! Guy's been rocking it. I swear he's doing this just to make me buy his shit. I swear. Cool. That was close. Um, but yeah, just a quick warning though, if you check them out, uh, those outfits are spoilers-ish. They're, they're just, they're from post time skip, and lots of post time skip stuff's been happening lately. Uh, as as you would assume with the story being post time skip now. Freaking rocks. I love One Piece. Like, it, it, it is my goal in life to see the end of One Piece. And I mean see it, not read it. Because I read One Piece all the damn time. Uh, I expect myself to be completely caught up. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll be watching the, or I'll be reading it, like, like the the day the the last issue comes out, I will be fucking reading that shit. But I I want to I want to watch it all too. It's been so long since I've actually sat down and watched One Piece. It's actually one of the reasons why I want to do a watch along at some point. I think that'd be really cool. Cause it also just seemed really chill. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'd love to do a watch on Serious Blood Piece. That, that show's the freaking best. you suddenly want to watch One Piece, though? That's what I'm wondering. What, what's randomly drawing you into it? Were you a One Piece fan before? You leave me with too many questions, Vipers. I need, I need answers. I don't need five bucks. Screw five bucks.
dude, I freaking want to watch One Piece so bad. I just actually, before I started stream, I was watching One Piece clips. So I fucking love watching One Piece clips. I like watching One Piece reactions. That's a lot of fun. I love seeing people react to One Piece. It's super cool. I like seeing what their opinions are of it. Their favorite scenes mixed with my favorite scenes. The scenes that, like, everyone needs to see. The ones not a lot of people know about, like, or remember, like, I, I want to I wanna see them all. I fucking love One Piece. Nice. There's a laser here? Why? This is like where all the toilet water goes. There's gotta be a squid up here. There's just gotta. What? Oh, because I couldn't stand up. Really. Nice. Squid. Make sure that there isn't any more stuff here. Shit, it's been so long. Doing hi, my guy. How are you? Hey, man. We're partying out here. We're making progress. It's something we don't normally do. Uh, so it's very strange and new to me. But yeah, we've been making progress in this game. We've been doing all sorts of stuff. It's been just swell. I'm also just a, just a little baked. Just a little baked. I could be more baked, uh, if you don't mind me joining you. Nice. Oh my god, we spent like two hours on one level yesterday. And we didn't beat it. Alright, here's another big puff. Hell yeah. That one went down smooth. That first one I took did not go down smooth. That went down like it was just like a rock down my throat. Oh, one second. Here comes the rock. 
Good thing I had my water nearby. Ugh, holy shit. <laughs> We're back. We're doing shit. Fuck, I'm not going to make it again. Yep. Now we got it. I ain't risking shit either. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was a little late to my uh, to my weed today. Otherwise, I would have had an edible. But nine o'clock is just too late. That's too late for me to have uh, to have an edible during the week. Now. On a weekend or Friday, that is the perfect, perfect time. Because then when it gets to 12, I'm like, do I keep chilling or do I just, like, go to sleep? Take a nap. Who's going to stop me? But I can't do that on a weekday because I'll just fucking pass out. We... Yeah, how's your bait? How's your bait? Uh, how has your day been, uh, Newark? How you doing? It's been so long. Okay, I want to catch up, but I don't know what to say. Dude, that's all the squids. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, I, I'm also a big edible guy, but I do not hit them as hard as you do. My god. Not, not that I wouldn't want to, of course, because that honestly just sounds like a good time. But... Oh, fuck. Oh, god. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're doing all right. And there's always those tiffs every once in a while. That's why we have our vices. Me screaming at a computer screen and TV screen and in a microphone. And then weed. It's the ultimate cleanser. Of the soul. We almost did this first try. Now I fucked up. I don't know what you're saying, man. We changed my life. Dude, I used to be, um... I used to carry stress and anger and stuff. And I hate doing that now. It's the worst. Uh, the one time I went completely overboard with weed, like, my personality changed. It was freaking hilarious. I don't know if you were here when I told that story. I told it once before about um, when I first tried uh, when I first tried weed and how it ended up opening the door to a brand new life that I'm now also happy to be a part of. Cause yeah, I remember I was on a camping trip with a bunch of a uh, bunch of people from school. Because we just graduated, we're all hanging out, and my one buddy, who didn't go to my school, but because uh, he moved away, um, I invited him because we like got back in touch. We were hanging out, we were hanging out a little bit here and there, and uh, I'm an idiot. I can't put two and two together to save my damn life. Uh, I, as as a kid, I never knew what weed smelled like, and I am the most unassuming. Uh, like I'm not gonna make I don't know what this is I don't understand it, so I'm not gonna make any assumptions of it whatever blah blah, blah. like I, I do not pick up on things at all so when I found out my buddy was doing weed I was like for, for medicine I was like oh okay well that's fine like I've always wanted to try it like, maybe he'll share uh, but the, another guy had the same idea when, when we went camping uh, 
he, he was thinking weed. I, I want to smoke weed. I want to smoke weed. It'll be super cool. So he, uh, he brings a bag of, of weed and it's like this tiny little sandwich bag. And then my buddy goes, oh, hey, we had the same idea. Pulls out this gigantic bag, just huge. It's like this giant Ziploc bag stuffed so full it looked like a pillow. Like insane. And, and my buddy just had that with him because uh, his family grows it medicinally for uh, for him and his mom. It, it's crazy. I couldn't. Like, none of us could have fathomed what what uh, that being even as a remote possibility. And like I, I tried weed for the first time, but I didn't. It didn't do anything. It just felt like nothing really. And then uh, he invited me over to his house where I could really try it. Shit. He invited me over to his house where I could really try it, and uh, I did. And holy shit! Uh, him, him, and his mom gave me a very like, like long talk about weed, like what goes in with it, why they started taking it, all that stuff, and, and like, it, it, it was a big lesson, and I'm glad I learned it before I tried it. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people who don't know, who don't have that like proper sit down beforehand, they they tend to go overboard. And you know, I definitely go overboard, but I feel like I'm always like within a good amount for myself. And I, I never do anything stupid like drive or whatever. Fuck sakes, I did it again. Like I'm always very careful about uh, about when I smoke smoke weed or have an edible or something. Like I, I never want to like put anyone in danger. Uh, well, so yeah, I smoked I smoked a joint and did nothing, but then after that long talk, um, my buddy's friend, like, my buddy's friend's mom just goes, Alright, uh, I'm glad we had this talk, you boys go downstairs and start, uh, and start your movie, we were watching the first Charlie's Angels, and she goes, you guys watch your movie, I'll bring you guys up some cake later. I'm like, oh fuck, cake, that's awesome. And I didn't even question it until uh, until my buddy's like, you do know it's gonna be like weed cake, right? I'm like what? It's like so she she ends up making this gigantic tray of cake. It's huge. It, it is honestly terrifying how how big the the bag how big the cake was. No, you're kidding me. But yeah, the cake is fucking huge, and his mom just leaves the whole cake down there with us. It's like, oh fuck, are we supposed to like eat this whole thing? And of course we weren't. So his mom came down, it's like, guys, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have left this much with you. I want to make sure I had some as well. Grabbed the tiniest little sliver from it, and then goes upstairs, and we ate a shitload of it. I did not have much, I had three huge pieces. But my buddy, like, who just takes his stuff, you know, to, to live healthily and be okay, uh, he definitely had a lot more. And oh my god, I was losing my mind. We apparently watched both Charlie's Angels movies, uh, the original two, and uh, I went on a huge like rant about how everything in the movie looked green screened. <laughs> like, I, I was losing my mind. Everything was so flipped around and just crazy. I couldn't believe it. And it was awesome. And since then, like, I was just like, this is way better than getting drunk. Like, I hate getting drunk. If this is the other option, I want this option. This option is amazing. And, uh... And yeah, eventually my buddy came over. We made some cookies. Uh, because he, he made some butter before coming over. And, uh... Yeah, we, we, had, we, had, a, we had a fun time. Because, holy shit. We made 48 cookies. We used all the butter. We made 48 cookies. Just jumping into it. Um, yeah, we made 48 cookies. He took like 15. Um, and then the rest, <laughs> I just kept. And, oh my god. I am pretty sure that I... So I, I had about 15 cookies that day. I took... As soon as I was off the clock from work, I... And my buddy came, my other friend came to pick me up. Um, I already ate three cookies. I didn't eat them while I was working, because that's a bad idea and you shouldn't do that. But I, ha I had them 
after I was done working. Like, literally, I clocked out and ate a cookie. And, uh, oh my god. Like, amazing. I, I get home, I have another two cookies, give my get friend that gave me a ride uh, a cookie, just as a thank you. And, uh, holy fuck, dude. 15 cookies. I got... What the fuck, man? I'm so stupid. I can't pay attention because I'm having fun talking about weed. Um, God. And, dude, I had like 10 cookies, took a shower. I was in the shower for two hours just rubbing my hair because it felt so fucking good, man. Oh, my God. Because I just cut my hair the day before and I get it cut pretty short. And just running my hands through my hair like, oh, my God. I did I did that for maybe six hours that night. Just I had the TV on in the shower, making food didn't matter. I was I had my hands on my hair because it felt so fucking good. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting hungry while watching TV and just kept eating cookies. And I went through like fifteen different mood swings. Um, I got really fucking pissed at what I was watching, and I loved what I was watching. It's one of my favorite YouTube channels. It was uh, some Game Grumps. Like, I was like, let's put on something I know, something fun. And uh, we'll make it a variety too, so I'll jump through a bunch of games. And, like, holy fuck, man, I got pissed. Like, this fucking sucks. And then I passed out. I passed out at uh, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. I woke up at 9 p.m. And I was just floating, just having a good time, hanging out passed out again at 11, at 11 and I woke up at 1 p.m. the next day like that's 14 hours sleep I woke up a changed person completely I went on a huge tangent I didn't mean to go into such a big mega story I was honestly getting to this point because you said uh, what did you say uh God, my chat's not up updating in fucking whatever. Oh yeah, you said uh, weed saved my life, and it's like yeah, weed changed my life, dude. After after that, uh, after that weekend, holy fuck, man, I was just different. I go to work and like I I just I have a bad day. It didn't even matter. I didn't even feel it, dude. And yeah, just went through it totally fine go home chill whatever do something stupid yell at my parents do this do that whatever blah blah, blah. didn't matter like i was so fucking chill holy shit and i'm still pretty chill now but i need another day where i can just veg out like crazy just eat an ass load of cookies that's right i'm going back to those measurements vipers if you're still around um I just ate a shitload of cookies, dude. And what a party. I don't know how much it was all in total, but like literally my, uh, you know, those like, um, margarine containers. He had that full of weed butter and we used as much of it as we could in the cookies. Cause we doubled the recipe and added extra butter as well. Uh, cause I think, what did we do? I think we, uh, we coated the cookies in butter after we had them sitting on the cookie sheet. Like, just an insane. And yeah, it, it was just quite the treat. Since then, I've been having 25 milligram brownies before I go to bed. But now I am now I have a friend that lives close by that has his own, like, weed web, website he just sells stuff on. And so I buy my uh, M&Ms from him, 600 milligrams a bag. And I've been, for some reason, getting normal M&Ms. I ordered the peanut butter ones. But it's 600 milligrams in total for the whole bag. On a weekday, I eat one. I party. I hang out. It's all good. I use my pen to even me out or get me a little bit more high, which is more than welcome most days. And then, yeah, that's just kind of it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad you like long, long stories, uh, Newark. I, I'm, I'm happy about that. I, I have I have a lot of fun talking, but the problem is, is that I don't know when to stop sometimes. And and so far I haven't run into any issues with that. A lot of people have just been really chill and like just like to hear me speak. And I'm super happy about that. Cause like that that's one thing I've always really liked about uh streaming, the uh the just chillin'. 
just the talking. I, I, I personally find it a little hard to watch people uh, play games. I have to be really invested in the game with them. So if I'm late to it, I'm just like, I just I can't get into it. I don't know what's happening in the game anymore. How did we get here? Like I played, I played this game five times, and now you're now you're at an ending I've never seen before, or even knew it exist or existed. Like it's just kind of hard for me to get into it. But I love the just the chatting. I love chatting streams. But I, I know, I know it's very hard to do when you're just one person. And I have a shitload of games, so I thought, you know what? Like, I, I have a few other uh, streams planned in the future. Um, one of them is a Lego Batman stream, Lego Batman on the Wii. I thought that'd be a lot of fun to do. I don't think we'd 100% it because there's so much shit to do in the in those games. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought that'd be fun. Uh, just because we had so much fun with the nostalgia stuff, playing Shrek 2 and uh, uh, Toy Story 2. Like, I, I had people run, like, jump into the stream just to say, oh man, I love this game, and then bounce. Which is totally fine. I, I welcome anyone who wants to just, like, even just jump in for a split second just to say hi. do not matter. I'm get upset about it. Shit, man, you, you took the time out of your day to come check out what I'm doing. Fuck, dude. Happy to have you here. I'm gonna be like in some kind of entitled ass that's upset that people just keep coming in and leaving all the time. Uh, level up. Level up. Nice. This part here is a little annoying. Whoa, nice try. Sorry, New York. I see you sent something. Just give me one second so I can get on solid ground. Okay, we're good. Uh... Oh no, dude. It's never. It, that's never an issue. It's never an issue, and, and it should never be an issue for other streamers either. Just you coming out in the first place just means the world. That's all. You know, maybe that's just me talking as a sm uh, small-time streamer, but. I'm also trying to think long on, right? Like, I, I, I don't mind if people want to step in for a second and say hi. And, like, if they got other shit to do or want to watch someone else, absolutely, man. All, all the power to you. I'm actually upset with how often I stream because I can't watch the streams I want to see. I still have the ones that I'm subbed to, but, you know, like, I, I can't really check them out too often. But I just love streaming so much that I really don't want to stop. Ever. Like, if, if I could, I'd be streaming every second. If you've been around since uh, uh, December, you you know that like the whole break I had off before I had to go back to work, I was just streaming. There was nothing else on my mind. I was doing eight-hour streams. Of, like I think the longest I streamed that whole time was eight hours in a day. Uh, but then I also oh look, whoa, that does damage. Ah. Sorry, I'm like, I'm getting hyper-focused again. I can't help it. Nice, nice.
Man, we got max magic now. That's huge. We're gonna eat we're gonna eat a brain anyways. Dude, ask away. Do it, man. I love weird questions. You're the second person to ask me this. No, I don't. I don't have anything officially uh, officially diagnosed, and at this point, uh, I personally don't care. <laughs> Not, not, not on anyone who, who actually has it and like know their process and all the shit they go through. Because obviously it is a struggle for a lot of people, but um, you, typically it's easier to catch it uh, when, you know, it, as a kid. Like it's easier to understand what it is and figure out how you're supposed to go about treating it and all that. Like that, that, that's where you really learn it. Now, now and the thing is, as a kid, and I, I, this was my argument before. As a kid, you're not really. Uh, you're not really you yet. You haven't grown into the person you're gonna be yet. So I, I feel like, personally speaking, uh, because I am already me, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to change that. I, I'm, I'm 25 years old, or 24 years old. Sorry, I'm aging myself now. Uh, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I've, like. As short as that seems, I've I've lived long enough, man. <laughs> I, I'm kind of just already figured out who I was, so or who I am. So I I don't really want to go through all that hassle with it. So yeah, because because like I I don't know too much about it. I don't want to pretend like I know exactly what I'm talking about. I fucking clearly don't. I don't know enough about it myself, but like I, I have been asked that twice now. Two people so far have asked me if I am ADHD or have ADD. Well, you. Like... What do you mean I got all down? I don't. <laughs> Great, now I'm all laughy. What the fuck? And when I laugh like this, I laugh like Ernie from Sesame Street. You think so? I just feel like I kind of under understand myself and that's the biggest struggle, that's all. But I feel like once you once you get out of school, you don't know who you are, you don't know what you're doing, and no one else seems to want to like help you figure that out. But once you have a good idea of who you are and what you want you do, what you want to do, then you're kind of golden. And like, I I one thing I've always kind of preached and pushed to everybody is like, be selfish, man. Fuck yeah, be selfish. Are you kidding me? Care about yourself. I, I have a big problem where I put other people before me, and it really just, like, hurts after a while, you know? Like, it's just like, well, when is it my turn to, like... Well, yeah, it's, it's, thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I kept, like, just pushing for something, you know? Like, I, I kept pushing to make sure other people were okay, and... Like, I always knew that knowing people were okay made me feel better, but at the same time, it's like... You gotta be selfish, man. Put yourself first. Huh? You, you, you don't need to, like... You, you don't need to force yourself to be a certain way around people. And you know what? It, it Every day I'm, I'm learning something new with shit or making some kind of new friend or whatever, and, like... Or just learn, like talking to someone, learning about something. What like there's so many different things that just kind of changes your perspective on stuff. 
and like it's just growing from that and going from there and like taking the time to be like hey no i'm not gonna go to this party like fuck sakes everyone just gets drunk as shit i don't drink i just get baked and like no one's really on that level so i'm just gonna hang out at home or i'll invite some other friends over and we'll hang out and do that instead like you don't have to follow a crowd you can make your own crowd that's what literally what i'm doing right now on twitch <laughs> i'm making my own crowd like exactly what it is and yeah like fuck man it, it's awesome i love this shit I, I like th this is the, streaming is the first thing I've been passionate about in a long time, a super long time. For the most part, it's been wake up, go to bed, go to work, do this, blah blah blah. <laughs> oh, CIV. I don't know what that stands for. If that's a spelling mistake, but you know what? Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you're calling me Siv. That's what it is. Shit. That's my bad. That's right. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, we're at the uh, two-hour mark around the time <laughs> where we end it, but I'm going to... I'm the confused civilian. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, it's ending soon. <laughs> Ugh. But, yeah, you know what? <laughs> oh man we're here we're doing shit you know what fuck this boss fight we'll do this uh tomorrow we're playing more shanti tomorrow i fucking love this game this playthrough has been super difficult it's been killing me inside it, but you know what progress is made we spent two hours on the on level three two last stream and we started on level 32 that stream just awful I don't know how we managed to do that but you know what fuck it we're all good if you haven't already check out the amazing the art of Matthew on Twitter he's spectacular I don't have a direct link he posts some NSFW stuff all the time this guy is freaking awesome holy shit such a cool guy definitely check him out it's actually you know what going a little bit backwards um, he started a Discord last year. I I joined it very like just because I knew he had one going on, and like it, it's weird where you end up finding like people that like kind of hang out and whatever. And that was the first like online group I I joined, and I wanted to start my own right after that. That's another big part of why I started streaming. Like just join a group, hang out. You got an interest, fucking dude. Go talk about that interest. Hang, like, find other people that think the same as you, and or not think the same as you, but like like the same things as you. Have your opinions, have your funds, pa uh, pass around a few jokes, whatever. It's awesome. It's great. That's kind of the plan with my Discord. I don't talk enough in the Discord. I've been getting better at it though. Me and Vipers are always talking. We're talking Pokemon all the time. Um, yeah. Sorry. Just ba back to the exit here. The Art of Matthew, beautiful man, perfectly, like, just amazing. I like just joined it. God, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, the Art of Matthew, absolutely check him out. He, he he is a huge sweetheart. Holy shit, man! New art almost every day. He just did amazing pieces of of both Nami and Robin from One Piece, and I fucking love One Piece, man. I absolutely love One Piece. Uh, anyways check out his stuff he's amazing um if you've seen in the title which is super long but i feel felt like i had to explain myself a little bit there <laughs> when it came to how shit last stream was um but yeah uh <laughs> yeah we got some surprises on saturday i i i have a twitter i just started i'm gonna be adding it to uh to twitch Probably tomorrow. I'm hoping to stream earlier tomorrow so that I can actually like have all that shit sorted out properly uh, after stream. So it would be late stream tomorrow. I'd have that set up. And then we're going to start the countdown. Maybe I should try and do that today. I might just try and do that today. Whatever. We'll figure that out. I'll probably do that today. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to have Twitter going. 
check it out on Saturday. We're going to have some new things revealed. And we're back to Pokemon. We're back to Pokemon again. That'll be fucking great. Yeah, see you, Newark. Thanks for showing up, man. Happy to have you here again. It's been so long. Yeah, it's super great having you here. Um, but yeah, come check out Saturday. Saturday, we got something I'm unveiling. It's amazing. It's super cool. You got to check it out. I talked about it a little bit on stream already. But now I'm being like coy about it to pretend like I didn't talk about it all the time. Ooh, check it out. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. All right. I'm going to play on my computer for a little bit and then go to bed. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm so excited to stream again tomorrow. Got to get a good workout in. Did talk for way too long and ruined my throat. So excited. Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to finally say goodbye now. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have an amazing night. Hope to see you again soon. Hope to see you tomorrow. Who knows? You never know. But good night. <laughs>